It's no secret that I like nice things and I have no problem paying a little extra to invest in quality and craftsmanship. But not everything I have and use regularly is expensive. In fact, some of the things I use on a daily basis don't actually cost that much. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you eight inexpensive things I cannot live without. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style, where we give you the information and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. This video is sponsored by Blinkist, which is an app I've been a fan of and have been using for over a year now. If you've never heard of it, what Blinkist does is summarize and round up all of the best parts of over 3,000 nonfiction books that you can either read or listen to in just 15 minutes. If you're someone who wants to read but feels like you just don't have the time, Blinkist is a great way to add that to your life without having to set aside a ton of time specifically devoted to reading. You could listen while you're getting ready in the morning, while you're in the car going to work, or even running errands. and in just that short amount of time, you're getting the most important concepts from those books. I definitely fall into the category of the person who wants to read but doesn't necessarily have the time. I keep myself ridiculously busy. And because of that, one of the books that I like to go back to as much as I can is a book called Essentialism, which gives you tools to be more productive by doing less. Sounds good to me. And if you're someone who always feels super busy but also feels like you never really get anything done despite that, Essentialism is a book that I would definitely recommend for you. Another book on my list is Sapiens, which uh, a while ago my friend Eustace recommended to me. Sounds really cool, but I'm not sure if I really want to invest myself in it just yet, so I'm looking forward to getting the distilled version via Blinkist and then deciding if I want to take the plunge into the whole book. If you're interested in signing up for Blinkist, the first 100 people to go to that link that I have down below in the description will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. Trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time. And then after the trial, if you do go for the full membership, you'll also get 25% off. They do also now have full length audiobook features as well and premium subscribers get special member pricing, which is up to 65% off the regular price. Up first, we have this Olight mini flashlight. And when I say mini, I mean mini. This thing is half an inch wide and two and a quarter inches long. It fits right in the palm of your hand. You could put it on a keychain if you want. The model of this one is the i3e EOS. It's powered by a single AAA battery and puts out a max of 90 lumens, which is plenty bright, lights up a room in the dark. I own a handful of flashlights, but I love this one because of the size. It's very easy to carry around and the price at $9.95, you really can't beat. Next item here is a four inch shoehorn. This is made for us by Abbey Horn and is available in the shop. We have a few different sizes of shoehorns in the shop, but the four inch one is the one that I use pretty much on a daily basis. The material is natural horn and because of that, as well as the fact that it's handmade, the cool thing is that every one of these shoehorns is one of a kind and will have different marbling on it. I always take this with me in a briefcase or a backpack, whether I'm traveling or just happen to be out for the day. And at $20, it's a great price for a very useful, unique, and handmade item. Item number three is the Parker Jotter Pen. If you remember my last EDC video, you've seen this before, and although I have several other pens, including a couple by Mont Blanc, I love the Parker Jotter just because of the way it feels in the hand, I like the way it writes, and then there also is the fact that the Parker Jotter is the pen that Q gives James Bond in GoldenEye that is actually tricked out as a class four grenade. So of course, love the Bond connection, love the pen, which you can find on Amazon for $10.99. Up next is a travel garment steamer. Now, I used to have a full size steamer and it's actually sitting right over there in the corner behind the door. Uh, it's been there for a while because it's broken and I haven't gotten rid of it yet. But the travel steamer works just as well, not to mention it's a travel steamer, so it's easy to pack and take with you. I use it all the time, and for $25, I think it's a pretty sound investment. Okay, so those of you who know me know that I really love niche fragrances. 
However, you also know that I am not opposed to wearing budget or drugstore fragrances, and I actually did a whole video devoted to cheap fragrances that you can watch with the link right up there. One fragrance that I didn't include in that video, which is inexpensive item number five that I can't live without, is this one right here, Aqua di Selva. Now, the way I actually got curious about this fragrance was by seeing it in the Pink Panther movie. There's a scene early on where David Niven opens up the medicine cabinet and pulls out a big bottle of Aqua de Selva. And, you know, who doesn't want to be as suave as David Niven? So I had to buy it, and I absolutely love it, I have to tell you. It's a classic eau de cologne with a little bit of a piney bite to it. I've been wearing this almost daily for the past few months. I put it on after a shower. It's very inexpensive. 100 milliliters costs $13.86. And the big bottle that I have, 200 milliliters, costs $25.61 on Amazon. For item number six, it's another grooming-related product, and that is my Merker Double Edge Safety Razor. I love to shave with a safety razor. This one is the smaller version. The handle's not quite as long, which I like. Feels really nice in the hand. It's got a good heft to it. It's not cheap, but... I would consider it inexpensive at $40. And the fact that I have had this particular razor for over a decade definitely makes it worth the money. Uh, and if anyone's wondering, my preferred blades are feather blades. The seventh inexpensive thing that I can't live without are these small Field Notes notebooks. A pack of three of these costs $12.95. As I said before, I'm not a fan of taking notes on my phone. First of all, I hate typing with my thumbs. And second, when I write a note on my phone, I, I never think about it again, and it just kind of disappears. I prefer to write things down by hand. For me, it's just so much easier. I'm visual, so uh, when I actually write it and see it, I can remember it better. Uh, and it's very easy to flip through all the old pages to remember all those great ideas that I had. Finally, item number eight is this clothing brush by Kent. It's $36, incredibly well-made and durable. I use this at home. It's easy to slip into a briefcase. It's easy to travel with. And I prefer using this over an adhesive lint roller whenever possible. Links to all of the items I featured in this video are down below in the description. Thanks once again to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. And reminder that the first 100 people to go to the link that I have down below in the description will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. The trial is completely free cancel at any time. And then if you do opt for the full membership after the trial period, you'll receive 25% off.